So let's start by asking ourselves, why build a customer community? I'd like to think more about in terms of Facebook and LinkedIn and other platforms even like TikTok. Those are places where we share in a community. You know what time it is? Learn like time. One of the biggest mistakes people make is not staying at the forefront of customer education. Customer education is undergoing swift transformations. Turn off any distractors like your Slack, your phones, grab a notepad because we're going to shed some light customer education. So let's start by asking ourselves, why build a customer community? Customer communities are really an incredible way to foster both rapport and engagement with your user base. What is a community? It's a group of people who share common interests. This could be a soccer team, a religious group. Now in our modern times, I like to think more about in terms of Facebook and LinkedIn and other platforms even like TikTok. Those are places where we share in a community. Now let's talk about what a community looks like in a business setting. For most of us who are working in B2B and B2C companies, community is slightly different and nuanced. What we're doing is offering an application or a platform and we can help drive impact with that community platform. They have a university or academy where people go to and learn asynchronously on demand about what our product and platforms can do. But then what happens? Hey, I have questions. And that's where many people want a community. They want to ask those squishy questions. They want to look for best practices that may not come from you. They may come from their peers. And they may have some ideas or things that they have discovered that they're really excited about and they want to share with the community. This is the time you're ready for community. You're going to ask, well, what are the steps that I need to take to build that community? Well, we're going to break this down to five relatively simple steps. The first is you need a platform. With a platform, let's think about one like LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a platform which you could technically use to build a community. But the point to having your own customer community is one of control. It's one of curation. LinkedIn, TikTok, YouTube, none of these are your platforms. And they're beholden to an algorithm for engagement that is not yours. You need to choose a platform and choose a platform carefully that will allow you and your customers to be successful in connecting with one another and learning. All right, step two, who's your audience? You probably well know who the people are in your audience and you can probably spot some of the best people that you'd want to be participating in your community. If you already know them, that's great. But if you don't, you really need to set down and define that audience. What are the things that they need? What are the things that they're looking for? Sit down and think very intently about the audience that you're going to serve. Number three, your engagement plan. You want to build a community. What is it in that that you're really trying to accomplish? For example, we may not ourselves and our organizations have all the right answers all the time. That's why you're opening this community to everyone to help co-create and nurture learning. The community is a great place also for just encouraging heartfelt and deep discussions about anything related to your product. This is the place where those customers who are often becoming fans or your, your best advocates are gonna nerd out with their people. And this happens all the time in communities. You see somebody meet and they become friends and they connect and they move from one company to another, carrying your brand with them. The fifth is how are you going to perform analysis on this? I can't tell you what success looks like for you. You need to think about it and write it down. Do you want people to engage every day? Why? What does that engagement do for your business? That's part of the pitch for you as a brand. You come to, to us to learn. We have a community where you can also go and ask questions and engage. With all that behind us, we've worked out all the details. We can help avoid churn. We can increase retention and adoption and all the other key metrics that lead to ROI, not just for us, but also our users. So now that we have all the steps conquered and we're ready to launch, we're gonna talk about the tools that help you be successful in doing just that.